All right, guys, so today we're going to be reviewing Stellum Bourbon Equinox Blend Number 1, which is a specialty blend. So the story behind this one goes, Stellum added in additional older sets of bourbon uh, into this blend until the evening of the vernal equinox or spring equinox until the blend was complete. And they did that to honor the changing of seasons. So this blend is made from a base of Indiana bourbon and rye, then layered with older sets of bourbon and rye from Kentucky and Tennessee. Um, definitely excited to get into this one. Um, I, I did uh, smell it really quickly, and um, I, I have a feeling this one is going to be uh, an amazing pour here, guys. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, so as I stated, these blends are from Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Um, Indiana bourbon rye was the base of it, and then they added in some older sets of bourbon and ryes from uh, Kentucky and Tennessee. Uh, this one comes in at 117.26 proof. It's non-age stated, and the MSRP on this guy is right around the $100 mark. So let's go ahead and get into the nose on this one. Yeah, so first thing I get is this, this, uh, this rickhouse smell, and then um, a lot of, like, oak tannins in there mixed in with some with some leather as well like some dry leather um definitely indicates that there is some much older whiskey uh in this blend yeah so a little bit further away um it, it's kind of where you pick up those uh those darker notes that that leather the oak um there's a little bit of like a, um, some pepper in there as well Further into the glass is like these caramelized fruits. It's like a caramelized pear, a caramelized orange. Um, just very, very, uh, it, it smells like it's creamy uh, on, the, on the nose. Yeah, I mean, the, the oak and, the, and then that leather um, just combined is just, it definitely, definitely indicates that there is some older whiskey um, in this blend. But the, those fruity notes, again... It's like a, uh, there's that rich, just a very rich caramel. But then you do pick up some of that, um, some of that orange, and there's some pear in there as well. So that you know that citrus and, and fruitiness, along with that leather, that oak, and then a little bit of that uh, pepper there on the nose. Really, really nice nose. I actually pick up a little, like the slightest hint of like a raspberry too. A very, very slight hint. Yeah, some some oranges, some pears, like a raspberry, like just drizzled in and caramel. A lot of caramel richness on this on this nose. All right, guys, get in the palate. Cheers. Wow. So I was not expecting that. Um. So front to the middle of the palate, big old burst of uh of rye spice. Um, not necessarily the grain, but just like the actual, uh, like, like the spiciness of, of that rye, um, just kind of grabs a hold of your, your tongue there front of the palate fruitiness, uh, blood oranges, those pears kind of, you know, went from the, the nose into the, into the palate and then caramel richness, just all the way through it's stuck to the sides of my cheek on the top of my tongue, the roof of my mouth. I knew, but just by the smell of it, it was going to be creamy, um, yeah, and then, then going into the finish, it's actually a long kind of lingering finish, like some white pepper that kind of flows through into the uh, into the back of the palate and into the finish. Yeah, I mean that initial that initial burst of rye spice was uh, was quite the surprise, but again, it's just it's stuck to the sides of my cheeks and, and my tongue, the roof of my mouth. Yeah, that's a that was a really good first sip. Let's get in the second one, guys. Yeah, so again, those those blood oranges, some pears there on, on the front, that fruitiness, citrus kind of sits there on the sides of the palate a little bit. Middle of the palate now is kind of where those um, that dark side kind of uh, starts to starts to arise, right? Um, right on the center of the palate, some of that leather um, that that you know was on the nose, and then some of that oak as well. Rye spice definitely uh, calmed down after that first sip. Not so much of the, the spiciness now, but then you do get some of that um, that spicy like white pepper that kind of flows through into the uh, into the back of the palate and into the finish. And there's a very interesting note, and uh, I, I I get it with some uh, some other whiskey. It's very rare, but I get this yellow cake uh, yellow cake note on the mid to the back of the palate, uh, and it's 
absolutely delicious. Again, it's very sweet, um, very sweet, but then also has a, a, a nice hit of spice to it too. But that yellow cake note is something that's very rare in whiskey, and, and I, am, I am definitely getting a yellow cake note on the mid to the back of the palate, slowly kind of flowing into the finish with that like hint of, uh, of like white pepper. White pepper is really, that and like that mixture of that, that yellow cake is really the only thing that's kind of flowing into the finish, but it's long, lingering finish, just slowly going down uh, the back of my throat here. That is, that is, um, that's, this is an amazing, amazing blend right here. This is delicious. Absolutely. And it's, again, it just stuck to the sides of my cheeks, my tongue, the roof of my mouth. Mmm. Let's get a last sip, guys. Cheers. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's creamy. It's viscous. I mean, just like, again, caramel, just like all the way through the palate. Um, again, that, like that pear and, and blood orange on the front of the palate and onto the sides, you know, that, that citrus, but then like, you know, a little bit of cinnamon kind of, you know, hits the middle of the palate there with that, um, that oak and, and a little bit of that leather again. Um, you know, and, and surprisingly again, like a lot of what I'm getting on the nose is what kind of, um, you know, is what I'm getting on the palate, but definitely, um, that yellow cake is, is something I don't get in a lot of whiskeys, and that is most definitely a a note in this blend right here. Again, from the from the mid to the back of the palate and slightly into the finish, that yellow cake note um, is there. It's it's sweet. Um, again, it hits you with some spice from from you know that that rye in there. And I mean, again, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily drink hotter than than you know 117.26 proof, um, but you know that 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 punch of rye will will make you think differently. I tell you what, this this is going to be a bottle to hunt right here. Um, this is a this is a fantastic blend that Stellan put together here. Um, again, that that the fruitiness and then the spiciness, then it flips over to this dark side um, where you're getting some of that leather and you're getting some of that oak. Again, caramel sweetness all the way through, uh, viscosity. I mean, just just creaminess, uh, and then that that goes like. Starts to translate to like that that yellow cake sweetness, uh, mixed with with some like white pepper into the finish, a long lingering finish, still still going down. Um, outstanding, outstanding blend here by Stellum. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews, and I want to send a big thank you out to the team at Stellum for supplying me with this sample here to review on the channel. Guys, do yourselves a huge favor. Go out and buy this bottle. Um, this is an immaculate blend here of, of whiskeys. Again, that Indiana bourbon rye and then layered in with some of those older uh, Kentucky and Tennessee whiskeys. You can definitely taste uh, the older whiskey and you can also smell some of the older whiskey, some of that leather and that oak, the darker notes um, that, that you know indicates that this is a uh, has a lot of older uh, whiskey in it. But just... Just how this played around with the palate is just is just mind blowing. Again, it's just you know that fruitiness right up front, and then you know that punch of rye spice right on the center of the palate, and then you know that that oak showed up, the leather showed up, a little bit of cinnamon there, and then and then right towards like the the, the mid palate and into the back, this sweet yellow cake, a very rare note, but uh, yellow cake showed up, and then finishing kind of like with that caramel, white pepper, and then that yellow cake, um, just. An outstanding, an outstanding blend here. Um, I, I highly, highly recommend you guys uh, go out and find this Equinox blend number one. Um, I can promise you it'll be well worth the the hundred dollar price point. Um, just amazing blend here guys amazing amazing blend here uh so if you guys are looking for more reviews like this make sure you guys hit that subscribe button bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams you can also find me on instagram at dusty dan's whiskey reviews and until next time guys stay dusty